Arizona mining is very exciting. It's going to be uh, it's going to be a big lead zinc silver mine. Uh, we're shooting for a feasibility study and uh, trying to get into production by the end of 2020. It's just uh, north uh, northeast of uh, Nogales uh, in the Patagonia Mountains, uh, just outside of the town of Patagonia. Uh, it's actually about at 5,000 foot elevation and uh, it's an underground mine, so it's very, very small surface uh, uh, footprint. It peaks out at over 500 uh, employees. Uh, during construction, of course, be a couple thousand uh, during the period of construction. And in terms of overall, uh, you know, spin-offs in terms of uh, employment with our uh, over four or 500 people, there's probably impacts about uh, over 3,000 uh, uh, people. It's very significant both for the state of Arizona and the state of Sonora in, in Mexico. Uh, yeah, so we'll, we'll uh, have a big impact. When you look at the amount of copper concentrate that's coming out of Arizona now, it's probably about 350, maybe 400,000 uh, uh, tons a year. Our mine alone will probably close to 500,000 tons. Uh, Arizona is number two mining state in the nation. We produce 68% uh, of the nation's copper. We're number five in aggregate production, so that's construction aggregate for infrastructure projects. Uh, we are a direct and indirect, both industry sectors uh, combined, and that's hard rock, so that's copper, silver, gold, uranium, and then we've got the construction aggregate component, about $14.2 billion industry. Uh, Boy, as far as employment, 6,000 in the aggregate sector, and that supports another 15,000 jobs. And then in the hard rock sector, we're looking at about uh, 12,000. That supports another 31,000 jobs. We work with JTEDs. Uh, we work with community colleges in our rural areas. And then we also work with uh, the uni state universities. So one of the workforce development pipelines we have is certainly through the University of Arizona. They have a mining engineering school. And then uh, one of the other things is, is as you well know, I mean, there's, a, there's a lot of uh, jobs available in both sectors uh, as we're seeing the economy pick up and copper prices are on the rise. Arizona Chamber's top of the list. We, uh, we work with them on uh, really important projects like Accelerate Arizona, so we want the necessary transportation infrastructure. We want those key commerce corridors to get built out. Uh, we want to be able to leverage federal money. We want to be able to take care of our, our local needs with a, a state plan, and they're, of course, in the vanguard trying to get something done there. I think uh, Governor Doug Ducey and his administration have taken the lead on making sure everyone's clear that you know, Arizona's open for business, especially as it pertains to mining. Uh, we've seen vast improvements in uh, permitting and time licensing timeframes and so forth. Uh, it, it's been great to work with this administration, and but for that, uh, this would have been a different conversation a long time ago, but um, we're, we're grateful for the, the efforts that he's made.